Ireland job site where we're getting ready to do a walk or a tour around this job site. And I've got Marie Abascal with Method Architecture here. Good morning, Marie. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Gretchen. Wanted to talk a little bit about this project uh, post Harvey and why Bowtex was utilized and kind of how the project came to you. Um, so initially, I know um, we we internally at the office have looked at you know the benefits of Bowtex and we've been really trying to find a good application for it. Um, initially, uh, this project it was on hold for a while. Um, we were in you know we were, we were already in permitting mode and then uh, the, and then Harvey came up so everything kind of hit a pause since this location was flooded you know a few feet um, so we had to think of you know some alternatives um, I know the client moving forward he didn't want this to happen again so again we're trying to find you know what can we do to reduce any future um, future loss you know so we looked at Baltex um, we thought of it's good thermal um, properties and also um, looking at kind of the, the overall assembly. Um, we're also looking at FEMA's uh, minimum requirements for some sort of um, uh, a permeable, um, impermeable wall. And so with Baltex, we're able to really um, get, you know, get everything that we're looking for. Um, and we, at this application, we didn't go all the way up. We were just keeping a wall just to make sure we're just above the base flood elevation. Um, as the client just wanted to do, you know, pretty much the minimum, but still do a good job um, as as we needed to move forward. Did the client come to you and say, I want a different system, I want something that's, I mean, we're almost on a year now with Harvey. That's a long time to be out of business. So was the primary goal for him to make this as fast as a rebound again, if and when it floods? Or what were his desires or challenges that he brought to you in Method? Um, his, yes, um, you did speak on that. It was mainly getting back up and running as soon as possible. Um, so, of course, we are like, well, we can't do the same thing over again. You know, right. it's just going to happen. And right. as we know, you know, what happened previously. So he really looked to us and he wanted something um, that would address the issues um, whenever it would flood again. Awesome. So what we've kind of done here is... You worked with Chris Leonard, our Director of um, Construction and Technical Services, and you guys actually modeled this 40-inch wall to have air and moisture barrier up on top, which is not normal, and inside, which is not normal. So speak a little about why that's important for this job site. Um, that, uh, for this job site, well, um, fortunately, Valtex, they're already creating, you know, doing the, the due diligence to figure out, you know, this impermeable wall, and so, that was very important to get all sides of this, um, you know, floodproofed. Even, you know, going to the foundation a few inches as well. Um, it so was that the recovery is better, and all they really have to do is tear down the inside finishes and clean it up, wash it up, and the structure's sound. They're ready to rock and roll again. Right. Exactly. It's not a year later. Exactly. And along with the impermeable wall, we also had to. We're going to add floodgates um, at the doors. Um, we have an internal pump um, with a, um, a sump pump just oh, to, because awesome. um, uh, those were also needed to meet sure. the FEMA requirements for the dry pl flood proofing. Sure. Well, it's a really cool application, and we appreciate you using Valtex, and we're excited to show everybody the solution that you came up with. Sounds great. Thanks. Appreciate